Hi, I'm Gidon from TheTechnologyMan.com. The Tronsmart T2 Plus is a compact portable speaker with an IPX7 waterproof rating, up to 24 hours of battery life, independent lossless playback via a micro SD slot, and supports wireless stereo pairing with another identical speaker. It's reasonably priced at around $35 or £30, but often on offer, so check for the latest pricing in the description below. I'll be comparing it against the similarly priced and popular Anker Soundcore 2, the slightly larger Soundcore Boost, and the T2 Plus's big brother, the Element Force, all of which I've reviewed recently. Could this be the perfect budget portable travel speaker? Let's find out. Inside the box you get the speaker itself, a USB-C to USB-A charging cable, a 3.5mm audio cable and a decent instruction manual. There's also a lanyard which is nothing more than a short shoelace. This is a pretty compact speaker measuring 175mm by 69mm by 53mm and weighs 535 grams. It's marginally smaller and lighter than the Anker Soundcore Boost, but the Anker Soundcore 2 is significantly smaller and weighs over 100 grams less. The boxy design with curved sides is quite plain with rather too prominent Tronsmart branding for my liking on the front and rear speaker grills, but it's well built with no flexing or creaking. The Soundcore Boost feels more premium with its fine fabric grill wrap and flush control buttons, but for something designed for travel and portability first and foremost, the T2 Plus should prove more robust, and it has an IPX7 waterproof rating rather than the IPX5 splashproof rating of the Soundcore Boost. Behind the metal grill at the front of the speaker are the stereo drivers that deliver up to 20 watts of output. Around the back of the speaker, you can just see the rear venting passive radiator behind the metal grill, and lifting the rubber flap reveals a micro SD slot, a USB-C charging port, and a 3.5mm audio port for a wired connection. They don't list the maximum capacity of micro SD card supported, but a Sandisk 64GB card worked just fine. It's not a feature I'd use much, but it does allow for completely untethered music playback. It's nice to see the modern and robust reversible USB-C charging port, but I would like a USB port to charge other gadgets, like on the Soundcore Boost. You need to completely close the rubber seal to maintain its waterproof rating. Around one side of the speaker is a buckle like on the Tronsmart Force for clipping to a bag. A carabiner would have been a more useful accessory than the short shoelace lanyard for this purpose. Along the top are the slightly raised speaker controls. They don't have any backlighting so being black on black are difficult to see in dim conditions. There's no NFC like on the Tronsmart Force of Soundcore Boost for quick pairing to compatible devices. The bottom of the speaker has two rubber feet. The T2 Plus has a 3600mAh battery, but despite charging via USB-C, doesn't support fast charging. It supports up to 2 amps at 5 volts, but I didn't get more than around 1.2 amps, and it wouldn't charge at all via USB-C to USB-C cable. A full charge takes around 3 hours. The power LED lights red whilst charging, and then turns off when fully charged. You can use the speaker whilst charging, but Tronsmart recommends against it for the longest battery lifespan. A 3 second press of the power button turns the speaker on, with a sound that can't be disabled. The first time you turn the speaker on, it'll enter Bluetooth pairing mode with the power light flashing blue. Connect to Tronsmart Element 2 Plus in your Bluetooth settings. There's another beep and the power LED goes a steady blue. The speaker will power off automatically after 15 minutes if there's no music playback. You can't turn this feature off. Disappointingly, you can only connect to one speaker at a time, like all the other speakers I'm comparing it to. But you can pair to a second T2 Plus speaker to create a stereo pair, like with the Tronsmart Force. I don't have a second speaker to try out this feature. If you want to pair to another device, press and hold the play button for 3 seconds until the blue light starts flashing, indicating it's again ready for pairing. If you have any connection issues, the manual suggests you should be able to reset the speaker and delete all pairing records by holding down the play button for 8 seconds with the speaker on. I didn't find this did anything. The controls along the top can be a little confusing, and I had to repeatedly refer to the manual to remember their multiple functions. An extra Bluetooth pairing button would have been useful. The power button turns the speaker on and off with a 3 second press. A single press activates your voice assistant, and an 8 second press forces the speaker to shut off if it locks up, which I didn't experience. The M button is for pairing with a second T2 Plus speaker, and switches between Bluetooth, Line-In, and the micro SD card if in use. The Play Pause button also answers and ends a phone call, and is used for Bluetooth pairing as previously discussed. The Volume buttons also skip tracks with a long press. There's no EQ button, and no dedicated app to control EQ, you could make some adjustments by your device's EQ settings. You can copy music to a micro SD card in a number of formats for independent playback from the speaker. The music will be played back in alphabetical order and loops continuously. Even after turning off the speaker, it continues to play back from its last position. The two 10 watt drivers with a rear venting passive radiator deliver a big sound for such a small speaker, and with an impressive amount of bass. Mids generally sound pretty clear, but with busier tracks and at louder volumes the highs can sound a bit harsh. With no EQ adjustments, it does depend a lot on what you're listening to. Most tracks sound pretty well balanced, but for some music I found myself lowering the volume or adjusting the music app's EQ settings. You can hear for yourself how the Tronsmart 2 Plus sounds and listen to how it compares to three other similar speakers. The Anker Soundcore 2, 
the Anker Soundcore Boost, and the T2 Plus's big brother, the Element of Force. I've reviewed all these speakers separately if you want to hear them play other tracks. Tracks with a lot of bass did highlight one significant issue regarding vibration. The speakers started to walk around the table to quite an alarming degree. Definitely something to watch out for. I've recorded the sound test with binaural microphones that capture stereo sound to try and provide the closest representation of what I'm hearing. Please listen with headphones for the best experience. Use the timestamps below to skip ahead if you like. Even if you tried, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart it bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. It is a step up in size from the Soundcore 2, but if that doesn't bother you, it's also louder with more presence and significantly more bass. The Soundcore Boost I think overall sounds better, but it's more expensive and I did find the T2 Plus had a little more clarity in the mids. The Tronsmart Element Force has a very similar sound signature to the T2 Plus, but its extra size and additional output is noticeable. The speaker has the latest Bluetooth 5.0 and the connection was generally reliable. Range was okay and comparable to the other speakers I was testing it against. Making it to the far end of the next room of my brick-built house around 10 meters away, but no further. There's no support for the higher quality Aptex or AAC codex. We could always connect via the 3.5mm cable or use a micro SD card for potentially better sound quality. I've still got a slight audio sync delay with YouTube on iOS like most of the budget speakers I've tested, but there's no noticeable delay with YouTube on Android and Netflix on both platforms. The built-in microphone is good enough for phone calls, so there's quite a bit of background hiss even speaking close to the microphone. The speaker is well built and feels robust, and its IPX7 waterproof rating held up fine in my testing. Battery life was very impressive. Transmart quote a whopping 24 hours at 50% volume. I mostly used it at around 75% volume and got over 15 hours of usage off a full charge. There's a lot going for the Transmart Element 2 Plus. It's compact, has a good range of features including IPX7 waterproof rating, excellent battery life, and it sounds quite impressive for its size and price. Maximum volume really is pretty loud, and the amount of bass it manages to conjure up from its diminutive size might surprise you. Although this does also bring with it one flaw. The speaker might just bounce its way into trouble with bassy tracks. Something you really do need to watch out for if you're prone to balance speakers in precarious locations. If you want something even more compact, which also has very good battery life, take a look at the Anker Soundcore 2 I reviewed a while back. It doesn't have the bass of the T2+, Plus, but it's still a great little speaker. If you want a slightly more refined sound and a more premium build, there's a Soundcore Boost. The Boost also comes with a USB port to charge your gadgets and an NFC quick pairing support, but it's more expensive and only has an IPX5 splashproof rating. Jumping up in size and with a similar price to the Boost, the Tron Smart Element Force is quite similar to the T2 Plus in a lot of ways, with a bigger sound, NFC support and EQ modes. There's also the Tribit Max Sound Plus that I couldn't quite squeeze into the sound test, but another great option with arguably the most balanced sound. Overall, if you're after a truly portable, robust speaker with decent bass and a good feature set that can easily fill a small room, this is definitely a speaker to consider. But I'd love to know which is your pick of the speakers I've looked at, or if there's one I've missed, let me know down below. And as always, if you have any questions, please ask. I read every comment and I'll do my best to respond. I do hope you found this video useful. Please like the video if you did. I'm releasing videos every week on the latest technology and how to get the most out of it. So please make sure you subscribe. It helps more than you think. And don't forget to tap the bell icon if you want to get notified as soon as a new video gets uploaded. Thanks for watching. Will you